Hi, I'm Celine Young, and I am the Program Manager for the Postdoc Academy. As we have just discussed, different research groups have unique ways of operating as communities of practice. The rules within your new community of practice, such as work habits, power structures, or social expectations might be invisible and or inconsistent with your graduate research group. In this activity, we want you to reflect on the similarities and differences between your own practices and those of the community of practice that you are a member of. For your current research group, or however you would like to define your community of practice, you're going to create a mini network containing each person and their roles within the group. This mini network will be shared anonymously with other course participants so please don't use names or other identifying information. First, think about how your research group can be broken down into subteams or projects. Use a circle to indicate each project and use different colors to distinguish between projects. In this example, there are three major projects and you can see how these projects overlap. Next, capture the working relationships that exist across your group by identifying who is involved with each project. List their role within the mini network. Some people might be involved with just one project, while others work with multiple subteams across the group. In this example, the lab manager works on two of the major projects, and the PI oversees all three projects. If your community of practice is small, you may instead draw lines to connect people that collaborate across a single work stream. Once your mini network is built, reflect on the dynamics that already exist within the group, both within your project and across projects. Within your own project, describe how you interact with each group member and your goals for those relationships. How can you ensure that your ways of working align with the existing community? And how can you, as a postdoc, shape the group dynamic?